Hello seventh graders, this is our first instructional video and our first standards, so get ready. We have a lot coming at us this year and a lot to learn. So first thing we are doing is adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers and there's a couple rules that we have to follow. Okay, the first thing when simplifying signs between the numbers or fractions, we have to follow these two rules. If there are two like signs, it needs to become a positive. If there's two unlike signs, we're going to leave it alone. And I'll show you a couple examples of what I mean. The one thing we have to keep in mind is you always want to have an addition sign between the numbers or fractions. After you simplify the two signs that are between, you want to make sure you have an addition sign in there because that's going to make it simpler for us when we actually solve to find the answer. Okay, so let me give you some examples. We have two like signs become a positive. So let's say we have 2 minus negative 3. Now remember, we're simplifying signs between the numbers. So we're just looking at the signs that are in the middle here. We have two like signs. They're both negative. So that's going to become a positive. So this turns into 2 plus 3. All right. Now if we have two unlike signs, we leave it alone. Okay. For example, if it was 2 plus negative 3, we would leave it just like that. We always want to have a positive sign between our numbers because that's going to make the next two rules easier to follow. Okay? So if we had something like 2 minus 3, just like that, 2 minus 3, what we want to do in order to have this happen, we need to put a plus sign between there. So what would happen, two would stay the same, we'd put a plus, we'd add in parentheses, and that negative sign goes with the three, it becomes two plus negative three. All right, another example, if I had four minus seven, I would leave the four the same, put in a plus sign, the negative goes in the parentheses with the seven. Okay, that's gonna make it simpler for us to solve later on. Okay, so when we actually solve to find the answer, if we have two like signs, we add and keep the original sign. Okay, so let's go back and look at this very first example. If I had two plus three, now we're looking at the signs that are directly in front of the numbers. So I'm looking at the sine of 2 and the sine of 3. The sine of 2 is positive, the sine of 3 is positive because there's no negative signs. So all we do is add and keep the original sign. The original sign of both of those is positive, so we add and it stays positive, it just becomes 5. All right? If I had negative 3 plus negative 6, those again have like signs. We're looking at the signs directly in front of the numbers. It's a negative in front of the three, a negative in front of the six. They are like signs. So we add and keep the original sign. The original sign this time is negative because there's a negative sign in front of both of them. So we do six plus three, which is nine. Keep the original sign. The answer is negative nine. All right, if we have unlike signs, we subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So if we look at this example right here, four plus negative seven, this has unlike signs. The four is positive, the seven is negative because of that negative right in front of it. So we would subtract, you always subtract starting with the bigger number, which is seven. Seven minus four is three and keep the sign of the larger number. Seven is larger and its sign is negative, so it becomes a negative three would be our answer. Okay, let's say we had two plus negative three. Again, they have unlike signs. Two is positive, three is negative. So we're going to subtract, start with the bigger number three. Three minus two is one. Keep the sign of the larger number. The larger number is three and it's negative, so it becomes a negative one, okay? 
Those are your rules. Let's take a look at some examples.